sure. This is one of those press conferences you never want to have to give in your community. And it's sort of a nightmare that you hope you never have to live in reality, but unfortunately we find ourselves in the circumstances where we have to live this today. Uh, I'm going to give you some brief information with the information that I have right now. Uh, we have literally dozens of officers working on this uh, as we speak. So a lot more information will be coming to light throughout the evening and in, into the morning tomorrow. And as we have additional information to share, we'll, we'll push out through our uh, social media platforms uh, and we'll set up another press conference so that we can share that information with you. Uh, this incident tonight started at about 5.41 p.m. Uh, there were reports of shooting uh, on the north side of the Garlic Festival uh, area. Uh, officers were in that area and engaged the suspect in less than a minute. Uh, the suspect was shot uh, and killed. Uh, it appears as if though they had come into the festival via the creek which borders the parking area uh, and they used some sort of a tool to cut through the fence to be able to gain access through the secure fence line uh, and that's how they got into the festival area itself. We have uh, one suspect we know that is down. Uh, we have some witnesses reporting that there may have been a second suspect, but we don't know if that suspect was engaged in any shooting or whether they may have been in some sort of a support role for the, the person that we have uh, accounted for. We have at least uh, 15 people injured. Uh, we have four fatalities that we know of, uh, including the suspect. The officers that engaged uh, the suspect, obviously we have a protocol that we need to deal with for that. So uh, Santa Clara County has a protocol on dealing with officer involved shootings. So that's just another layer of uh, complexity with the, the shooting that we're investigating from the suspect. We put out a call for assistance. Uh, we had many, many officers in the park uh, at the time that this occurred as we do any day during a uh, festival, uh, which accounts for the very, very quick response time. When we put out the call for help, we've gotten help from agencies all across Santa Clara County and Monterey County. Uh, and I can't thank those agencies enough. Uh, they came from, uh, you know, pretty good distances away to be here to help support and provide uh, assistance with our investigation in dealing with the chaos of the scene at the time that it occurred. We have set up some things, uh, you know, a reunification because, you know, in the panic, people go out different ways than they came in and families got separated. And so we have this uh, area, Gavilan College in Gilroy, set up as a reunification area to try to reunite families that got separated. We also have a phone number for families uh, to be able to call, and we have people staffing those phone numbers to work on the reunification process. The, that phone number is area code 408-846-0584. Uh, we also are asking for any witnesses uh, because there was quite a number of people in the park. Anybody that witnessed this incident uh, that can tell us anything, that took any photographs, that perhaps videotaped anything that might be uh, relevant to this investigation, to please contact us and we've set up a special phone number uh, for witnesses as well. And that phone number is 408 8460583 and that's uh, about what i know at this point in time Chief, at this point you're not certain that there is a second suspect that witnesses may have identified a second one but you're not entirely confident that's the case we believe based on witness statements that there was a second individual involved in some way we just don't know in what way you have a description of this person I do not at this point. Is there a motive? Do we know anything about the suspect? 
I don't have any information on the suspect yet. I, and that will take a little bit of time. Uh, as with the victims as well. That will take some time before we identify them and, and make family notifications. What, what is being done to apprehend the second suspect if there is a second suspect? As I said, we've gotten assistance from literally dozens of law enforcement agencies across two counties, and so we have teams working uh, to try to track down and identify leads regarding the second suspect. Uh, we're very hopeful that with the witnesses and statements that people are able to give us, that that will help us to do that. Uh, do you have security camera at the festival? Security cameras? Yes, like... No, not, not posted security cameras, no. The second person was not armed, is that correct? We do not know what the involvement is of the second person at this point in time. Can you clarify the amount of people injured and go into some of the injuries of the range? You know, I don't know what the injuries are. I haven't got a report on that. I do know that uh, the, the the list that they're keeping, the master list, it was up to 15 people uh, the last time I looked at it, and that included the fort. I have no idea what the motive is at this point. Can you compare the other two reports? Seeing, made it suggest that there was a second shooter or someone working with the shooter. What did they report to you? You know, I'm sorry, I don't have specifics on that, other than people reported a subject leaving the area that they thought was associated with this person.